Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today we're going to be talking about all of the ebooks that I ended up downloading last month in November. I love making these videos. I just love it. I love talking about ebooks and hauling stuff, so yeah. Um, I'm very excited for this video. Um, there are probably going to be the majority of just KU downloads that I did in November because I was definitely in a KU mood. <laughs> so let's talk about those first. Um, we're going to talk about the books that I downloaded off of Kindle Limited, a book that I rented through Libby, and then uh, the later half of the video will be all of the free books that I downloaded last month. So the first book that I downloaded off of KU is Resisting the Grump. I think I was typing in a different book name and this one popped up. Sometimes that happens with Amazon where like they'll just be sponsoring books on their homepage. And so I was like, you know what? This looks good. It has good ratings. So I, I'm in love with Grumpy Sunshine Romances. So let's see what this is about. This one's a Kindle Limited or you could purchase it for $4.99. Stalking the town recluse wasn't exactly wise. Davis was five years older than me antisocial and temperamental. And there was the little fact that he didn't know I existed. Still, I gave him my heart and he crushed it. So I picked up the pieces and ran away to New York City. I had a plan that would keep my heart intact for years, but one phone call changed everything. Returning home meant facing the past and the man who ruined me. I had hoped that the mountain had swallowed him whole, but as I set out to help my parents, I had discovered he is not only alive and well, but that they apparently love the jerk. We had no idea we have a past, which is both a relief and salt in the wound. I promise myself I'll ignore how his eyes linger on me or how his touch feels like a live wire. And I'll remember that once upon a time, he broke me. And for that, I refuse to fall for him again, but I can't control that he seems to be falling for me this time. The next one that I downloaded is Next of Kin by Hannah Bonham Young. This is definitely an influence from Caitlin from The Love Librarian. I love you, Caitlin. And she just like raves about this author. So I just had to download it. This one is on Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for $3.99. When people pleasing Chloe learns that her birth mother has unexpectedly had another baby, she doesn't hesitate to become a next of kin guardian. But when she fails to pass child protective services financial evaluation, she is faced with a choice see her baby sister placed in foster care or participate in CPS's new initiative, Team Up. Enter Warren, a surly mechanics apprentice attempting to get custody of his deaf 15-year-old brother after failing CPS's housing evaluation. The two strangers immediately clash but agree to live together until Warren can find housing elsewhere and Chloe can further grow her freelance career. As their lives intertwine, Chloe and Warren both realize that they're far more similar than they would have imagined. What started as forced begins to feel natural and far less lonely. Chemistry soon intens intensifies beyond what either of them can stand, but they must each decide if what burns between them is worth risking their arrangement. I've heard amazing things about this book from Caitlin and hopefully I just love it. I then downloaded I Married a Birdman by Regine Abel. This is her third book in the Prime Mating Agency series. This is on KU on Kindle Limited or you purchase it for $4.99. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to read this one um, because I've been loving Regine Abel's books and I really wanted to read the series before the end of the year. This is just a mail order bride alien romance series between human women and a alien species of some kind. <laughs> I also downloaded The Alien's Little Sister by Amanda Milo. This is her currently last book in her um, alien romance series that I really like. Um, there's going to be more in this series, but this is currently the last one out. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $2.99. I don't think I want to read the summary because I personally don't want to know much about it. I want to go into her books as blind as possible, but I really enjoyed this series and Amanda Milo in general. Um, this one doesn't have an audiobook yet, so that's why I downloaded it as an ebook. I then downloaded Fighting Silence by Ali Martinez. Uh, this is her first book in the On the Ropes series. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited, or you could purchase it for $3.99. I heard that this series is just like chocked full of disability representation, and I really, really, really want to read more books with disability rep, obviously. I've always been a fighter, with parents who barely managed to stay out of jail and two little brothers who narrowly avoided foster care. I became skilled at dodging the punches life threw at me. Growing up, I didn't have anything I could call my own, but from the moment I met Eliza Reynolds, 
She was always mine. I became utterly addicted to her and the escape from reality we provided each other. Throughout the years, there wasn't a single night I didn't hear her voice. You see, meeting the love of my life at age 13 was never part of the plan. However, neither was gradually going deaf at the age of 21. They both happened anyway. Now I'm on the ropes during the toughest battle of my life, fighting for my career, fighting for impending silence, fighting for her. Every night just before falling asleep, she sighs as a final conscious breath leaves her. I think that's the sound I'll miss the most. This just looks really good and hopefully the other books are good as well. <laughs> Next, I have War Sky by Ruby Dixon. This is available off of KU or if you purchase it for $3.99. This is just a sci-fi alien villain romance that Ruby's written and I just wanted to read it because it's one of the few books that I have left to read from her. Next is Lady of Rourke's Grave Manor by Catherine Moon. I did download this also off of KU, um, but this is available to purchase for $4.99 if you're interested. This is a book that I have to read for my five star production video for 2022. I'm currently reading this one. And yeah, this is a why choose monster romance that I heard is really fun. And I'm only like chapter two. So we'll see what I think. Another book that I'm currently reading off of KU is Chimera for Christmas by Ursa Dax. And this is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for, I believe, 99 cents. And so this is basically a monster romance. Our heroine gets hired to work at this uh, coffee shop for the holiday season and her coworker happens to be this grumpy chimera on the cover with her. And I am like 40% of the way through it. It's fairly short. Um, so they just met each other and it's really cute so far. <laughs> the one book that I ended up downloading off of Libby, I'm renting off of Libby, is How the Duke Saved Christmas by Hannah Harrington. This is available to purchase for $2.99 off of Amazon if you're interested. I saw this on Rachel from Rachel Reads and Sings, her um, her December TBR. There we go. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. I saw this on her December TBR and I was like, you know what? That looks good. I need to read it. I, I think this has disability rep in it. So I just was like, Christmas and disability rep sounds amazing. I'm so sorry for the dog barking. Willow! <laughs> Two years ago, Lady Clara Marshall led a fairy tale life. She was the toast of the ton, beloved sister to an earl, leading charity patroness and deeply in love. A bright future lay in her grasp until a tragic accident ripped it all the way. Now she's lost the use of her right leg and never ventures from home. She's lost all happiness and the love of her life. When she's forced to travel north for the holidays, a fierce snowstorm, a damaged bridge, and her meddling brother all conspire against her to bring her under the same roof with the one man she never wanted to see again. Michael Stanton, Duke of Wakefield, cannot believe his eyes when he sees Clara being carried into his country house to seek shelter from the storm. Two years ago, his heart nearly stopped when he watched the wreck, only for it to shatter completely when she broke off with him without explanation. Certain she blames him for her leg, he's resigned to having lost her until her brother asks for his help in showing her how to live again. But the last thing Clara wants is to be trapped with Michael and all the ghosts of Christmas past. Will the Duke be able to save not just Christmas, but also her life? Doesn't that sound so good? I just, I need to pick it up like now. Oh, I totally forgot. This is another book I downloaded off of KU. Oops, <laughs> this is Went to the Alien Prince by Janie Marie Bell. This is on KU or you can purchase it for $4.99. This is her second book in the Accidental Alien Bride series. I read um, the first book in the series in early November and I just immediately downloaded book two because I really liked the series. This is an alien romance series about human women marrying aliens. So yeah. <laughs> so the rest of the books are all books that I ended up downloading for free last month. So the first one is Possession by Jessica Hawkins. I've heard great things about Jessica Hawkins. So anytime I see a recognizable author's name that has a free book, I just immediately download it without even reading the summary. This one is still available to download for free if you're interested. Lola Winters doesn't think she can escape her life as a waitress until she receives a shocking proposition from a stranger. Billionaire businessman Bo Oliver wants Lola for a night and in order to get her, he's willing to make her dreams come true. But Bo's conditions are explicit. From sunset to sunrise, Lola will submit all of herself to him, body, mind, and soul, because nothing is more important to Bo than maintaining control, especially over his possessions. But what if one night isn't enough? <laughs> Next is The Secret Note by Lauren Rowe, another instance where I saw Lauren Rose's name, I just had to get a free book. This is available still for free to download. He's a hot Aussie. I'm a girl who isn't shy about getting what she wants. The problem, Ben is my little brother's best friend, an exchange student who's heading back down under any day now, but I can't help myself. He 
he's too hot to resist. During a camping trip with my brother and his friends, I slipped Ben a secret note inviting him to my tent after everyone else has gone to sleep. Ben might be heading back to the land down under in a couple of days, but I'm betting I can tempt his hunky butt to show me everything he knows about going down under before them. I'm not going to fall in love with Ben. There's no time for that, but I'm sure gonna have a very good time with him tonight. <laughs> Next, I downloaded Coffee and the Contingency Plan by Jessica Costello. I believe this is still currently available to download for free. Valerie Boyd is ready to graduate. She spent the past three years, nose buried in her books, preparing for it. After she tosses that cap in the air, she'll be on a plane headed anywhere but here, leaving the pain of her past behind. When she drops into a seat next to her high school crush, Brody Ryan, on the first day of classes, the simple school year she'd envisioned starts looking pretty complicated. Brody Ryan is the guy in the friend group everyone trusts for a good time. His senior year has snuck up on him, and with his father breathing down his neck about his future, he knows he needs to get it together. The problem is he hasn't got a clue where to start. When they're paired together for a school project, Val and Brody can't agree on much besides their favorite coffee shop. But as they bicker over everything else, they also find themselves battling a mutual attraction. As Val grapples with the reasoning behind her future plans, Brody wonders how he would persuade her to make him a part of them. Next I have Kissing My Coworker by Jay Sterling. This is still available to download for free. I've had a crush on my coworker Declan since the day I started working at Rockline Studios. Trust me, if you could see this man, you'd have a crush on him too. <laughs> it's been two years since my first day of work. Two years since my head has been filling with fantasies and daydreams about the things I could do with him. Two years of sitting by and doing nothing because dating within the office is forbidden frowned upon, something we're not supposed to do. The night of Rockline's infamous New Year's Eve party changes everything. Will my New Year's wish finally come true? Then I downloaded Kickoff by Kayla Claire. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited and I actually still think it's free as well. Zoe needs a fake boyfriend. I need a babysitter. And we both don't have time for feelings to get in the way. I used to be the top college soccer player in the nation. Now I'm parenting my little sister and trying to survive my first year in grad school. I'm supposed to be responsible Alex and that comes with a strict set of rules. When Zoe asked me to be her fake boyfriend to make her ex jealous, I know I shouldn't say yes. It's unprofessional. I'm her ex's TA but Zoe's the most stubborn, hardworking person I know, so she won't give up. So I agree on one condition. She babysits my little sister so I can go to soccer practice. On every fake date, I get to touch her, kiss her, flirt with her. It's making me want to break my rules, but she's becoming my best friend. She's hung up on her ex, and I've been keeping secrets about my past. This is never going to work. And the last book that I ended up downloading in November is Zylon's Human Bride by Sue Linden. This is still available to download for free. Nova doesn't want to leave home, but she doesn't have a choice. The dome cities on earth need reactor material and the Turkians are willing to provide it in exchange for a steady supply of fertile human females, that is. Chosen by her own people, Nova must leave Earth and become the bride of a huge, fierce-looking alien named Zylon. Not long after her arrival to Tarkura, Tar Tarkua, Tarkua, <laughs> Zylon catches her speaking out against the trade agreement and the no-nonsense alien scolds her and promises her a strapping. His stern words both surprise her and leave her with quiver quivering with anticipation. Will the handsome blue alien really punish her on their wedding night? And does he expect her to call him master? <laughs> Zylon has been waiting for his human bride his entire life. One glance at Nova and he knows that the reluctant female is meant to be his. She's the loveliest creature he's ever seen and he can't stop stroking her beautiful golden hair or staring into her expressive blue eyes. He's shocked by her rebellious behavior, but is determined to tame her, claim her, and make her his in every possible way. A passion that knows no bounds soon flourishes between Zylon and his precious human woman. Once is never enough. He's driven to claim her again and again, and her sweet surrender calms the darkest parts of him. But when an old enemy threatens their union, he's forced to reveal a secret side of himself no one has ever seen. Can Zylon protect the little human who holds his heart? There you have it. Those are all the books that I ended up downloading last month in November. Please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me, let's see, the soccer ball emoji in the comment section down below because we talked about a soccer romance, okay? Um, but yeah, thank y'all so, so much for watching and we'll see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.